the goal of these first few videos is simply just to clean up and <clears throat> get everything out that needs to come out for the purpose of revealing the things that were once hidden, weaknesses, structural deficiencies, etc., etc., so that I can formulate the proper plan. When I have the proper plan, then we can execute. So, really, these first few videos are simply just going to be clean, 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 and... You guys are acting like it's gonna explode. <laughs> Get back! It's gonna explode! Well, guys! Run! It's big bug! Let's go on a tour inside and you can find out for yourself and with your own eyes just how bad this building is. Okay, we're entering the, the bottom portion. Apologize for all the stuff. See the old field stone foundation. Actually, this floor, this floor right here is is pretty decent. This is probably the only decent space. That's sagging quite a bit. That also is sagging quite a bit. But those those sill plates or those bottom sills, sill plates, actually look like they're still in decent shape. One thing I'm probably going to mention a lot is how much I love seeing the axe marks on these beams. They're just fantastic. I mean, not only do I have to get my crap out of here, but there's a lot more crap in here. Ugh. You can see it's, it's, it's bowing out a little bit there as well. That's completely rotted through right there, all that. And would be pretty dangerous to stand on. You can see several spots where several spots where there's been repairs or at least attempted repairs. That foundation wall right down there is starting to cave in as well as right there. These floors are just not 
not good anymore. I'd say, I'd say they are definitely not salvageable. This beam right here looks, looks decent. Looks like it's in decent shape, but you can see right there, the tenon is totally popped out of the mortise. And so it's not even, I mean, right there, that floor joist is also popped out. This whole wall is pushing out. And I think depending on the angle or the pitch of the roof, um, sometimes these timber frames, if, if they're not built with the right pitch at the roof and there's no bracing, then that actually pushes out the outward walls. But these are, this is pushing out because this whole wall is, is just starting to tip, tip that direction. Definitely structurally unsound right now, but you can see all the junk. I mean, this foundation wall is just in pieces. All of this is just caved down. Everything that's above me is hay and junk. This looks still decent. I don't know if, if the rock was repointed or not. You can see the tilt on this wall right here, this bay. This board right here is com completely eaten up by insects. I mean, that is just... I think if I'm gonna have, if I'm gonna be cleaning out up there, I'm gonna have to brace all of this up so that I'm not falling through. But you can tell the building needs to come in this way. No idea what that is. Last time we found the raccoon somewhere over here. Okay, I was just joking. That is starting to bow out as well. There's not too many good foundation <laughs> points. You know, and I wonder, I just don't know what's going on there. Is the is the pressure of the hill pushing everything in? You uh, engineers out there, you tell me what's going on. Some nice uh, sawhorses there. It's probably about the only nice thing here. Uh, you can see the big cave-in here, big floor cave-in. Yeah, I mean, it just to clean up, I'm going to have to find a way to brace the floor so that I'm not falling through, not dying. All of these back foundation walls are just deteriorated. And you can see there, they're trying to, I mean, there's some repairs. And what I'm trying to say is there's repairs over there. Am I having a small panic attack as I'm in here? Yeah, maybe. Maybe, as I think about all the stuff that needs to get done. Sounds pretty daunting. Dip under and out to the silo. This is actually officially the first time I've ever looked in here. We have literally a tree growing out of the silo. It's really incredible, actually, if you think about it. Now we come to the back side. Okay, so we've established that the uh, foundation in the basement is really terrible. But onward we shall go.
is the cool part. Okay. Whew. Now, this part is exceptional. The reason I say that is because these timbers are original. Chopped down from the property, I assume. Hand hewn. They were hand hewn. What that means, <clears throat> for those of you who don't know, you all know that logs are round. They didn't have sawmills or they didn't have access to sawmills. So, uh, it was good old fashioned manpower that, um, that took those from round logs and turned them into big square logs. And you can see the axe. Like, the roof needs to be completely redone. This beam right here is completely rotted out. Right now it's being held on by, the, by these metal ties. Um, the original, oh, I forgot what the term for it is, but uh, the bracing right here that comes across has fallen out. Oh, man, I think the only thing holding me up right now is the hay. And you can see this bracing has kind of been, I don't know if it was an afterthought or if they realized that the original rafters weren't, uh, weren't strong enough. So they used those to brace them up. phases to this project. I see phase one is just clean up. We want to clean up so that we can gain access to visually be able to see what's going on. Phase two would be um, foundation, getting that fixed. Phase three would be um, would be repairing the frame and uh, repairing the inner structures, the floor joists, uh, replacing sills, uh, replacing structural beams, that sort of thing and how many phases am i at is that three phase four would be the exterior and the roof phase five would be the interior 